Zero I'm four. Waldo. I'm the Matt. And this is Face Wrestling. What up, nerds? <laughs> we are so aggravated right now. We just did about, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Of recording and come to find out that one of the mics did not work. Somebody didn't turn their mic on. And we did our checks, too, and everything like that, but it just didn't work out. We're here for the other unboxing. We've already opened up it's the It's already been unboxed. So, so we'll show you what show we got you. real quick. <laughs> And you're just going to miss out on all that great information. That was our best unboxing video yet. So we put yeah, out lots of great information. version one. Yep. These are the shirts that were offered on Stardom, I want to say about, what, three months ago? Something like that. And they finally got around to printing them and stuff. My version, version two. two. One of them's in a ring gear, and one of them's in her uh, super Technicolor jean coat that need all the other coats. Yep, yep. And then the last one we got is the Hazuki shirt. Yep. You didn't want to miss out on a Hazuki shirt again. Yep. And then, um, so, yeah. If you know where you can get me, or let me know where a print of the Hazuki Kagetsu Tag Team shirt is, yep. in about a medium or above, I might pay top dollar for it. Or a white Odeo tie hoodie, yeah, that double too. XL or above. He'll pay top dollar for that. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see, what else? Matt discovered... When you order shirts. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, caveat, like we said on the last unboxing, that this was not made by the normal stardom thing. So, we were hoping the sizes would be a little bit better. Yeah, because this was in the last unboxing. Yeah, but this was a double XL, and it's still pretty tight. So, any shirts you buy off of stardom, make sure and buy them a little bit bigger than you normally would because they're, they're a little bit tight. And we found out that, like, small and medium and large are no. close. But once they start getting into the XL and above is when they don't know how to... I, I the sizes know, just don't. I don't know if it's the material. Yeah. Because they have a chart on their site too that says like an XL will be like. Like it's plenty long wide. enough. It's it's almost like an extra large slim. There you go. That's the yeah. way I put it. Um, so it's plenty long enough. It's just like a little tighter on the belly and in the in the pit area. But if y'all do notice, Matt here has been slimming down. I've been slimming down. That's so, true. Kudos to him for that. So thankfully, I'm able to actually wear the shirt. We got out and played some golf today, and I was able to move around. We did in the shirt. Um, we talked about this on the course. If you have any desire to maybe watch us play golf on a live stream, let us know. We're eh. Yeah, we're very bad. You can make but fun of us. Two rednecks out on a golf course talking about women's wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere in Texas. Yeah. And based on the golf course, you might be able to tell what part of Texas we're in. That's true. <laughs> Um, so we talked about that. We talked about a little bit of housekeeping stuff that's coming up. Um, you and Dr. The Wife, before too much longer, are going to have some videos coming out. You are going somewhere to we got do a two thing. two first coming for the channel here pretty soon. Yeah, it's a we thing you are to... doing for y'all, but you are going to get some video while you are there. Right. We got a first coming. We have we have another four for four coming. We are the first purse group. First interview. First interview with this individual. Yeah. To get an interview or anything like that. It was very difficult. Took a lot of time. Yeah. And uh, we'll leave that as a surprise yeah. to who. And then the thing coming up with myself and Dr. My Wife is going to be a, not really a first, but first time it's been covered. That we know of. Yeah. By a wrestling podcast. Especially one of our sides. Yeah. Right. And then um, year three stuff is coming up. Yeah. We're going to do another Q and A. We are here pretty soon, and it's going yeah. to be tied in with another episode. I'll tell you later offline. Yep, yep. And then we have episode twenty nine coming out. Interview with the Renegade Twins. We're still clearing copyright stuff on that. By the time this comes out, it will be dropped. We will also, by the time this comes out, um, be able to go more into what our um, raffle is going to be about. We have a raffle coming up, yep. August 20th. Mission Pro Wrestling presents Hard Day's Night, San Antonio, Texas, Salvation Army, Mission Corps. Doors open at 6.30. Yep. So get your tickets now. I'm working with Mission Pro. You may see us on their sites here pretty soon, and you may see some fun stuff coming on the Face for Wrestling yep. channel. Um, hopefully, well, now, I mean, it's already known now because we've already dropped the information. Simon Miller's coming to Mission Pro. And Face and Wrestling sponsoring. is a sponsor. Yeah, we're sponsoring Simon Miller, which is... We're very stoked to meet him, so that's another reason to get some tickets. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> that's another reason to get some tickets for um, Hard Day's Night is Simon Miller will be there, man. Like, that's really, that's a big deal for us. We're starting to see the card coming out. There will be another mission prediction for it. They just announced after we talked about it, Holiday and Jasmine. Oh, finally, yes. Jasmine yeah. finally gets to come back to Mission Pro Wrestling. She's going to be the two-time belter. Because she... Is getting her one on one match. She's gonna be the first time, first ever two time Mission Pro champion. Maybe we're 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 big fans of Holiday. We yeah. don't we're not saying 
we we just love that this match is happening. They're always very brutal with each other. Yeah. Um, and then there's other great matches that have been announced that we can't wait to go over on the mission prediction that'll be coming out. Um, the the show on the ninth should have dropped by now, which is the Q and A with the Renegade Twins, as well as yeah, they look like back said, at Mayu and the Ring of Honor belt. And we addressed all of the questions that were sent in. Every question. Every question, including you. Yep. Mr. East Texas. Yep. We didn't we didn't edit <laughs> anything down. Um hopefully when we have another the next Q and A that you talked about, we get some more questions, some more fan interaction. Right. That was a lot of fun for us. We had um, a blast. The Renegades seemed to really enjoy it as well. And not to toot our own horn here too much or pat myself on the back because I physically can't right now. I can't. <laughs> I think that's our best effort. I, I think our, I think people will be I think people will be really happy with it. Yeah, I, I think we've I'm come happy a long with way it at the very least. Yeah, yeah. And then going into Gear Four is what we're going to be going over next. Uh, we're already plotting out Episode Thirty and Thirty One, and we are Year Four for Phase Four Wrestling. Yeah, we want to focus a lot more on community. And helping, reaching out more to you guys, doing more stuff for you guys. PO box, PO box, trading. Um, if you we're look, if we're at a Mission Pro show and y'all are looking for something because y'all are in Ohio and y'all can't get there, let us know. Maybe we can. We've we've helped promo Pete down in Florida. A couple other like, people out too. We we like to try to set up a good community base, or help with the community base that Mission Pro's already built up. We were talking about that because it... with our four for four person earlier, not to give away names, right? But that was another thing they were huge on was the fact that Mission Pro has a really good community right now. And that's something we want to focus on and help them grow and be even bigger and better. Let's see. What else? Did we forget anything else? Um, Stardom's going to keep chugging along. Um, I know the next one is going to be a two-parter. We can kind of give yep. that information. Well, I just said that. Yeah. Um maybe some more watch alongs or we're, it's been a crazy summer so we haven't gotten around to doing we say um, Kyrie's return right. or the Hana memorial which we we have plans to do something with the, both of those we, we do we said before summer started and i think this was internal and i yeah. think we had mentioned it on a live stream for one of our gamings that we were like we'll take the summer off and yeah. we'll take a break and stuff like that we were that. like mission pros going on vacation so are we and well, we here in texas not. here in yeah. texas yeah We've come out with more content in the last month and a half yeah. than we have almost in two years of what we've been doing. And I know I've been prom I've been promising this for a couple months, but the consistency of streaming, my job literally, I have my finalized, stabilized schedule starting next week. So the streaming's going to start happening every week because I will have a specific day for it. Um, I'm not going to name that day yet, just until I can. Till I do the first one, but that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna at least happen a couple times. Um, yeah, it, it's not, we're not slowing down. We thought we were gonna slow down, but this is what bo unboxing number like six in the this past nine. month, nine in the past month. Um, and more stuff just keeps coming. Yeah, we're and looking forward to once it. Once we start settling down, I think maybe in fall, yeah. say after the Miss Crow show in August, we'll probably sit down and do a studio tour. Yeah, because by then we should be have everything out of our system. Yeah. We have to adjust some uh, posters, posters, and, and some our shelf over here that you can't see. Or, yeah, you can, see you, you can see it. You can kind of see the shelf. And then some stuff going on behind right. the computer over there. And then we have some specific merch that we want to pick up still for ourselves. Yeah. Um, but that's coming soon. Do you or a loved one know anybody that can get a hold of a Kegetsu and Hazuki tag team shirt or one of those black and white Oedo, o Oedo tie hoodies from about 2015, 2016. Yep. <laughs> if you do, we don't have a number below to call. But face for wrestling at gmail.com. DM us, comment. Yeah, send us, pop a flare in the sky, yeah. smoke signals. Don't care how you do it. Let us know. We'll haggle. We'll negotiate. I'll sell his kidney for it. Uh, I think we wouldn't be mad at getting some old Keigetsu merch too, if possible. Since we never got a chance to get some of that, but we want it to be legit, and we're not looking to. Funny you mention that. Oh, I don't have it on good authority mm -hmm. that if you go and become a Patreon supporter of Pling, at Wolf in Japan, the Chris Wolf, she has a Discord, mm -hmm. 
and that uh, there is a couple of people in there that have been popping up here lately about 10-year anniversary Kigetsu stuff. And, like, where to find it, where to get it made, and all this other stuff. Let's do this. So, just, there's other stuff like that out there, too. Not trying to uh, leave anybody out here, but, like, speaking of Patreons, uh, Genocide has a Patreon. Yeah. Uh, if you're like me and Matt, and you're actually wanting to get in something of a shape, which Matt here has been slimming down here lately. Sure. And then uh, she's definitely one to follow because she'll work the she's got a good dog picture. out on yeah. you. Um, there's a couple of others out there, too, and I cannot remember. Comment below. Let us know. Yeah. And pop, that's part of being in that community. Pop down your favorite wrestlers' Twitters, their Patreons, their um, Instagrams, all that stuff. If, if we're not following them and you want someone to follow them, We've, we've talked about this in the past, too. Something that I'm definitely thinking about reinstating that I'm wanting to do. Watching random wrestling matches. If you have a favorite wrestler that you want us to check out at some point, drop it below. We will try to get around to it. Um, I forget who it was, but somebody had sent us a name. We did watch them. We also recorded yes. a video on yes, it. Yes, and we recorded. It just did not work out well. But we at least it we were happy. It wasn't nothing to... against them. It wasn't yeah. nothing against the wrestler. It was it us. Was just, it was us because at the time we had very limited resources, and we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. And we didn't us. know what we were trying to do with a watch along. Right at the time. Well, and and the as you could tell, the equipment's gotten a whole lot better. Yeah. And so, like, we had a Logitech webcam and a screen to work off of. And... Well, and I, I've watched a lot of people do watch alongs since then as well now, right. and like reviews, and like I've I've gotten a little bit smarter about it. But we did watch her. I can't think of her name right now off the top of my head. Chardonnay, but... wasn't it? No, Chardonnay was the old uh, in a, not NXT, uh the old. She was one of the QQ members with B when they first came over. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, there's another. It was another lady in Sardom yeah. was there for like. No. It was somebody from the Northeast. She was not in Sardom. It does. Anyway, not, not important. Yeah. But the thing is, we did watch it. We did enjoy it. So, like, if you have somebody that you want us to watch, we may do a watch along. We may just watch it ourselves. Just let us know. Um, we're always down to watch more stuff. Um, let us know what you think of the new formats as far as like how we yeah. did this or how we did the interview with the Renegade Twins. Because I, I still think that's one of our best. I think it is, too. The one coming up, though. That's <laughs> going to be great. Um, If there's something, or if there's something else, like, do you think we could be doing, let us know. Um, yeah, that, too. Anyway, let's wrap this one up. We'll cover a lot of this other stuff in our live streams. And um, can, can, I, can, I, can I weirdly name drop that another video might be under wraps? Okay. And it might be wrapping up soon. And just leave it at that. Do you understand what I'm talking about? No. You don't get it? The yeah. one that's wrapping up soon that you dealt with this morning? Oh, yes. I'm w Sorry, I just <laughs> spiked the audio there. I'm waiting to hear back from a fixer. Stuffs, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm getting some other things done for it. And yeah, brought together. so we've got a bunch of stuff coming up. It's have, legit finished. We've got to record the video for it. Yeah. So, yeah. We, we're excited for everything that's coming up, and we're hoping you guys stay excited and keep on going with us for another three years hear that we're taking we're taking in this into retirement ages right but i mean like yeah but let's at least get them for three more years oh yeah three more years yeah and then you've done six and you might as well do ten. Oh, okay that's how it works all right then anyway you've done ten you might as do 20 i see what you did there <laughs> terrible <laughs> That's it for this show. I'm Waldo. I'm the man. And we are Face Wrestling. And don't forget, everyone is different and everyone is good.